This is the 3D Viewmaster Veridale Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess named Snow White lived with her father, the king and her cruel and vain stepmother, the queen. The queen's most prized possession was a magic mirror. One day she asked the mirror, Viewmaster Scheibe, Eins, Bild eins. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? The mirror's answer startled the queen. It said, Snow White was more fair than she. Because the queen was jealous of, of Snow White's beauty, she had forced her to do servant's work. But rags and hard work did not dim Snow White's loveliness. The angry queen looked out the palace window to see Snow White admired by a charming young prince at the wishing well. Scene 2 Determined to be rid of Snow White, the evil queen called her huntsman to her. Take Snow White far into the forest and bring back her heart in this, she commanded the man, handing him a box with a heart-shaped lock. Scene 3 The poor huntsman was grief-striken. He had no choice but to take Snow White deep into the woods. But once there he could not bring himself to kill the princess. Instead, he commanded her to run deeper into the woods. Scene 4 And he brought back to the queen the heart of a pig in the box. Snow White, left alone in the woods, became very frightened. Old eyes peered at her. Bats flew out at her. Tree branches turned into hands, clutching at her. Scene 5 Faster and faster Snow White ran, deeper and deeper into the forest. Vines dripped the lovely princess, and logs drifting in a river appeared to be alligators. Her imagination had tricked her. Finally, exhausted Snow White collapsed on the ground. Scene 6 Alone in the forest, she buried her face and began to sob softly. Then slowly she realized that she was not really alone after all. Squirrels popped out of holes in tree trunks. Deer peered over locks. Birds flew down from branches. Snow White was surrounded by woodland friends. Scene 7 what do you do when things seem wrong, sang Snow White. The woodland creatures heavily secrenated her with their answers. Sing a song. Having the animals as friends cheered Snow White a great deal and she asked them to help her. Do you know where I could stay the night? The animals led their newfound friend through the woods to the edge of a clearing where a lovely little thatched cottage stood. Viewmaster Reel 2 Scene 1 No one seemed to be home as Snow White cautiously entered the yard and then the house. Everything was so small that Snow White exclaimed, there must be children living here. Then she noticed seven little chairs and knew there must be seven little children. Looking around the house, Snow White further spotted cobwebs and dust and dirty dishes. Seven untidy little children, she added. Snow White and her forest friends decided to clean house. Sweeping, Dusting, washing, they had the house 
pick and span in no time. Scene 2 When they had finished, Snow White felt very sleepy. She went upstairs to the bedroom, where there were seven adorable little beds. Soon, tired Snow White lay down and fell asleep across the beds. Meanwhile, the owners of the little house were working in a diamond mine. Actually, they were not seven little children at all, but seven dwarfs. When the clock struck 5 p.m., the dwarfs picked up their tools and marched over a log bridge. Scene 3 Through the woods toward home. What a surprise they had when they entered that neat and tidy house. And how frightened they were when they heard a sound from upstairs. Surely a monster must be in their house. Dog, the leader of the dwarfs, ordered, Careful, men, search every crook nanny. Ooh, hook and cranny. Ooh, search everywhere. Then creeping carefully up the stairs, they found Snow White asleep on their own beds. Scene 4 When Snow White awakened, she knew the dwarfs' names right away. You're a dog and you're happy. Bashful, sneezy, dopey, grumpy and sleepy. Grumpy wanted to send Snow White away. A girl's just trouble. Snow White promised to clean and cook and sew. And finally, the prospect of a gooseberry pie convinced Grumpy and all the dwarfs that Snow White could stay. In fact, she had dinner almost ready. There was just time for the dwarfs to wash. Wash? Why they hadn't done that for a long time? Dopey swallowed a bar of soap and blew bubbles through his ears. The other dwarfs tied Grumpy's beard to hold him down while they scrubbed him. Scene 5 Finally they were ready for the delicious soup Snow White had cooked. And when they finished eating, they had a party with singing and dancing. Scene 6 That night at the castle, the queen was told by her magic mirror that Snow White still lived. The queen immediately began a magic spell and changed herself into an old woman. She also dipped an apple into poison. Scene 7 At last she would put an end to Snow White. The next morning Snow White kissed the dwarfs goodbye as they went off to work. View Master Reel Number 3 Scene 1 Dog warned, be careful, don't let anyone in the house while we are gone. But a wicked queen disguised as a peddler appeared at Snow White's window with the poisoned apple. Scene 2 Snow White's forest friends tried to scare off the queen, but gentle Snow White did not like their rudeness. The little animal scampered off to tell the dwarfs. Unfortunately, the victim persuaded Snow White to take a bite of the apple. At once Snow White, deep in a trance, fell to the floor. Riding the forest animals, the dwarfs raced to their cottage, but they arrived too late to save Snow White. Scene 3 Furiously, they chased the queen to a sharp precipice. There she pried a boulder loose. It tumbled toward them, but the dwarfs jumped out of the way just in time. Then the queen, struck by lightning, fell to her death below the cliff. Scene 4 
The dwarfs were heartbroken to arrive home and find Snow White. Weeping, they put the beautiful princess on the bed they had made for her. Scene 5 The seasons passed as the dwarfs and forest animals grieved for Snow White. One day the handsome prince arrived. Seeing Snow White, he bent down and kissed her. Scene 6 Snow White began to move. She had been awakened by love's first kiss, the antidote for the poisoned evil. Snow White kissed the rejoicing dwarfs. Then the young prince picked up Snow White in his arms. Scene 7 And they left for his castle where they lived heavily ever after.